With a population of over a billion people and a growing middle class, China has an ever-growing appetite for Australian produce. China is Australia's largest export market for agriculture, fisheries and forestry, representing over 11 billion in 2015. Chapter, the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement, is further helping Australian exporters to sell into China by reducing red tape and eliminating tariffs. Prior to the introduction of the Free Trade Agreement, the duty on beef was as high as 25%, and by the time chapter is fully rolled out, this will be reduced to zero. Elders Beef is already noticing the gains. Elders in Australia is a publicly listed company that's been operating since 1839. We're a rural services business focused on a range of services to farmers and agribusiness in Australia. Here in China, we're very focused on marketing premium branded Australian beef to international brand hotels and top end restaurants right throughout China. Our main product is beef and the, there was a 12% tariff on beef. Under the China-Australia Free Trade Agreement, that 12% will be reduced to zero over a nine year period. Over the long term, as tariffs come down, that's certainly a benefit to Australian companies in the market. It positions us competitively against other countries. Really what's quite exciting for us is the tremendous growth that is occurring in China in particular. The expanding middle class in China is creating demand for high quality foods, safe foods and new food experiences as well. So we're seeing tremendous growth in the Chinese market. Australia is perceived very highly. The clean and green image of Australia um, has a lot of resonance in the market. We are perceived to be a, a very safe uh, source of food. And uh, I think the work that has been done by Australian companies in the market to date, including Elders, has really helped position Australian product at the top end of the market. My customers, they love the Australian beef. Especially, they quite appreciate about the, this uh, method of the Japanese Wagyu but grain-fed in Australia. So they quite love it. In these 10 years, uh, Australian beef is the most well-known and the good reputation beef for Chinese customers. The Chinese love Australian product, also the Australian wine. We're extremely excited about our future in China. The middle class continues to expand. There's new hotels and restaurants opening up all around China all the time. You know, we're, we're getting fantastic growth. And so for, for us, you know, we're really just focused on our business, trying to do what we're doing better and better. Uh, to make sure that we maintain our position for that growth in the future.